Good evening, guys. Being here. Um, today we're going to uh, create some field patterns. Okay, so so you see these are field region. So we can create these field patterns. Uh, we are going to use uh, this uh, uh, Py Revit uh, plugin. Okay, so um, let's do it. So first, let's create a new project. And okay, so first um, we need to create a drafting view. So under view, drafting view. So let's just use one, two, one. And uh, uh, first, I want uh, we need to do some uh, detail lines. So DL detail line. So I'm going to just draw a um, 100 by 100 uh, square. Okay. So now we can start to draw some pattern. So uh, let me just uh, roughly do some, do a pattern, uh, something like, like this. Okay, so, and I'll just mirror this, trim, uh, Drag this back to here, and okay. So I think this this is it. And then, so what we need to do is we need to go to so the plugin. So we see this uh, make pattern. Okay. Before we click on this one, we need to select everything uh, we want to include into the pattern. So uh, what I'm going to do is I think I need I. Probably I don't want these horizontal lines, but I want uh, this vertical one. Okay, and also we don't need this one because we if once we have this one and when it it repeats, it will go uh, so it will go to the left hand side. So we just need to select these. Okay, so select these and go click on this make pattern. So now so first let's just let, let me just call it a new. Okay, so new uh, uh, one and model pattern. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'll use model pattern. And also, um, I think everything here is all good. And we can just click on this create pattern. So, and then, so this uh, plugin will ask us to pick the origin point bottom left. So click on here and then top right and click on here. So, okay, so now, uh, Yep. Done. So now let's click OK. And then we can try this. So we need to go to, so I'm going to just use a uh, create a field region. Okay, so uh, here. So you can use field region. And also you can uh, you can add that pattern into material. I'll, I'll, I'll show you later. So let's just do this field region first. So field region, and I'm just going to draw a shape. Okay, so f and then. Uh, edit type, so we need to create a new field region. Okay, so duplicate. I'll call it new O1 and OK. So go. I'm just going to use it for foreground. Okay, so click on this. So you should be able to find it here. So oh, sorry, model, model, model. It's on the model and N new one. So this one, see, and click OK. Click OK and finish, and that's it. Okay, so if if you try to dimension it, you will see. So it should be 25 from here to here because when I draw it, it's 25. Yeah, that's 25. So all good, and you can use this in your uh, project. So now let me show you. So if I uh, um, assign this pattern into a material. So how, how can we do it? So uh, go to material. So let me just create a new material. Okay, so I'll call it a new O1. Okay. So, and here, so you can, you have the option to use a foreground or background. So let's just use foreground. Click on this pattern, find, so go ch uh, change this to model and find, find it. Okay. Okay. And all good. So, for example, if I draw a, a wall, for example, 
oh sorry this is drafting view let's go back to floor plan i'll create a, a wall wa so and go let's go to 3d view so if, if i change i'll just duplicate okay so to duplicate this wall and go edit change material i want to change the brick material to that new material uh, we just did so this one so you'll see this pattern and click OK, click OK, click OK. So now, uh, because these patterns are too small and and because this scale is a relatively large scale, so it, it won't show, it's show as a solid uh, gray color. So but once you change the scale, so for example, change it to 1 to 10 and zoom in and you will see these patterns, okay? So yeah, so um, make sure. So when when you create your pattern, just make sure that direct uh, that the dimensions are correct. So for example, if you want to use this as uh, some kind type of you know timber, and then probably instead of twenty five, you need to increase that to maybe more than one hundred. Okay. So yeah, um, that's 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 pretty much it. So now let's try another one. So okay, so this time, so these are detail lines. This is field region. Okay, so this is in the drafting view. So let's try a different one. So I'm going to just copy this square. So CC copy this, and this time I'm going to draw some circle. Okay, so DL detail line go circle. I'm going to draw some circle inside here. So for example, I'll just draw it from here, maybe 15. Okay, so. And then I'll just move this down to here, maybe a little more, 20. And then move this this way, 20. Okay, so I'll copy this one to here, maybe um, 40. So um, maybe we need another one. So and copy this from from here to 30. Uh, let's try 40. Uh, maybe 35 sorry go back five another one okay so cc another one so um and also so this is five 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 and if you know if it this pattern repeat from here back to there so we just need to move this to here so i'll just move this to here and the same i'll just move this one down to here so now I think this this is good is good I think or oh, maybe oh, it looks like we need to move back a little bit okay oops sorry and V move and then this need to go oops back 10 yeah we're good so now let's create this pattern so same go select these are uh, not these uh, lines only circle and go click on the make pattern and all good so name it so new o2 and create a pattern uh, so bottom left corner top right corner and wait and okay so now let's try to create another field region. So this, select this one, CS, create similar, edit type, duplicate. Let's call it O2, OK. Select this one. So find this new to, uh, new O2, OK, OK. So I'll just draw something here, OK? Maybe this, uh, maybe a circle. Let me just delete this. Okay, so finish. That's it. And you will notice that it's it's actually not circle. So see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, what do we call what do we call this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, maybe you think ah, oh, it's not good enough. So actually, what you can do is. So instead of draw circle, so here we have circle, we can do this. So um, create a polygon. So DL go either 
this one or this one so we can just let's just use this one and just number just increase the number of sides so here i use 20 try to not um, use a number too big okay so i think 20 is enough so let's now uh, pick the center point so you can use sc so to pick the center point and then i'll just just you know finish it by clicking here so now we have a polygon with uh, 20 sides so let me just delete try to pick the so use the your tab key try to select this circle i'm just going to um delete this circle okay so and also i want to uh, array this so maybe i'll select this ar array sc pick this point sc pick this point three okay and then select one of this group sa okay array ar and then sc pick this point sc pick this point three okay so all down now i'm going to just select this group sa h h so temporarily hide every uh, all the groups and then we can just delete all these circle so now h r so that's it so now they are all um polygon instead of circle so let me just ungroup them so in case um group uh group 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 doesn't work in uh to create that so now they are all just detail lines and just select everything so use you can use control to select all these lines um yeah and then we can just create this make pattern let's call it uh, 03 and create pattern so bottom left top right and just wait Oh, good okay so now let's create another field region so i'll select this one cs edit type duplicate call it 03 okay go to here click on this change it to 03 so now this time i'll let me just draw this okay so change this eight and finish so now this time it's more like a like circles so if you zoom in you can see they are not circle but if you zoom out it's uh it's quite nice right if you look at this these are seven sides polygons okay so that's it um if you have any question please let me know and also um in revit you can also uh so let me just try to find it insert um maybe not here so on the manage let's have a look yeah i haven't used this for a long time how do we import uh, patterns where is it go feel region no oh yeah so let's just try so if if you create a field region right so and go edit type and go click on this now on here in here so you will see few few patterns so here you can load patterns okay so if you have some um i think it's pat file so usually uh you can download them from from a lot website so and they are used in AutoCAD as well so you can create a new so for example new if you click on new and then go click on cast and now you can browse so if you download that those files PAT file so you can browse and you find them I don't think I have any <laughs> so anyway so and then if you find that if you download that those file you can open that so see this pat file so hatch patterns and once you open that you can create that and you can give it a scale to change the size of those patterns and the ones or oh, click ok finish and you it will be list it will in, uh, be uh, 
will be in this list and you can use them for your project. Okay, so that's the traditional way to do it. <laughs> and also I have another video. Um, I think you can just create some pattern on a website, but uh, yeah, that's a, a different, another method again, but th I think this one's the easiest way. This is the easiest way. You can just draw your, draw your pattern and create, uh, create it and then that's it. Um, okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.